Hello there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Well, science fiction has become science fact. You can now have natural conversations with your voice with ChatGPT. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Now, of course, it was always possible to kind of set this up if you were using voice typing, you know, and you hit enter and then maybe you could feed the output through some kind of speech software. But now the uh, ChatGPT app has a conversation mode, which means you can talk naturally to ChatGPT and you can then hear its replies. Now, to get this working, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a ChatGPT Plus subscription. You're going to need the latest version of the app and you're going to need to go into the settings, into beta features, and then enable the conversation mode. Once you've done that, you just hit the little headphones uh, symbol up on the top there, and you can start the conversation mode with ChatGPT. So in this video, I'm just going to give you a kind of a demo of that and show you some of the things that you can do. Tell me about Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world with its peak reaching an elevation of 29,029 feet above sea level. It's located in the Himalayas on the border between Nepal and the Tibet Autonomous Region of China. This mountain has been a major attraction for mountaineers. Its cultural significance is okay, profound. Okay, this is taking far too long, so we'll just stop that. Limit your replies to just 10 words. Everest, world's highest peak, challenging climbs, rich cultural significance. Are you familiar with the story of Little Bo Peep? Yes, I'm familiar with the story of Little Bo Peep. Tell me the Little Bo Peep nursery rhyme, but this time featuring an armadillo. Sure, let's adapt the Little Bo Peep rhyme with an armadillo. Here it goes. Little Bo Peep has lost her armadillo and can't tell where to find him. Leave him alone and he'll come home, wagging his tail behind him. I want to write a blog post, an article about USB 4. What would be a good title? A great title for your blog post about USB 4 could be USB 4 Unleashed Revolutionizing Connectivity in the Digital Age. This title is catchy and gives a hint about the content, focusing on the innovative aspects of USB 4. What specific angle are you planning to cover in your article? This can help refine the title even more. Thunderbolt 3 Compatibility Got it, since you're focusing on USB 4's connection with Thunderbolt 3. How about this title? USB 4 and Thunderbolt 3, bridging the gap in high-speed data transfer. When you finish, notice here you also get the transcription of what was said by you and by ChatGPT. Now, one thing to watch out for is there is a message limit for ChatGPT, even if you are paying for ChatGPT+. And I found it quite easy to hit that limit when you're just talking naturally, because it it happens much quicker, you're not sitting there typing away on your little keyboard, and as the conversation developing, then that kind of limit gets reached pretty quickly. Tell me a joke. You have reached the message cap for GPT-4. The other thing to worth noting, if you do hit that limit, it does actually work with ChatGPT 3.5. You can still hit that headphone sign there, and now we can use this. Tell me a joke about a llama. Why did the llama bring a ladder to the party? because it wanted to go to the lofty heights of fun. <laughs> but besides that limit, I found this whole thing really quite fascinating. As I said at the beginning, science fiction turning into science fact. And this is taking us on a path that really was not difficult to spot. That's where we were going, but it's good that we've actually uh, got there. And this opens up a whole new opportunity in how we interact with these large language models. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Sims. I'd love to hear what you think about the conversation mode in ChatGPT. Have you tried it out? What do you think of it? If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, then you should stick around by subscribing to the channel. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.